How can we have peace among life's storms and trials? Especially when Jesus said we would have peace and he would cause division. Now, this may seem paradoxical at first, and yet Jesus offers us a peace that is not only counterintuitive, but also transcendent. A peace that can be our anchor in the midst of turmoil, even when it's due to our faith. Hey, I'm spiritual fitness coach Nat Crawford, and today we want to understand the nature of the peace Jesus offers and how it contrasts with the world's understanding of peace. So listen to what Jesus said in the following passages. John chapter 16, verse 33 says, I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. And then Jesus says this in Matthew chapter 10. Don't imagine that I came to bring peace to earth. I came not to bring peace, but a sword. I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Your enemies will be right in your own household. The contrast of these verses might initially confuse us. I mean, how can Jesus promise peace and yet speak of bringing a sword and division? The answer lies in understanding the difference between the peace the world offers and the peace that Jesus gives. The world seeks peace through the absence of conflict, often at the cost of truth and righteousness. Jesus' peace, however, is rooted in the assurance of his victory over sin and death a peace that persists even in conflict and division. Jesus warns us that following Him may lead to divisions, even within our closest relationships. This isn't because the gospel is violent or aggressive, but because the truth of Jesus confronts the world's systems and values. When we align ourselves with Christ, we align ourselves with His kingdom, which often runs counter to the expectations and norms of the society around us. So how do we apply this even when our faith brings division and hostility? First, don't be surprised when opposition comes. Understanding that following Jesus might bring division, even with those we love, prepares us to face these challenges with grace and courage, not with surprise or resentment. Next, embrace Jesus' peace. In times of conflict, remind yourself of Jesus' promise in John chapter 16. His peace is not the absence of trouble, but the presence of assurance in His victory. And last, stay grounded in truth. In a world full of conflicting messages and values, prioritize spending time in God's Word. Let the truth of the scriptures guide your thoughts, actions, and decisions. Living in God's peace is about finding stability and assurance in Jesus, despite the turmoil and division that may surround us. It's a peace that transcends understanding, rooted in the knowledge of Christ's ultimate victory. As we navigate the complexities of life, let us hold fast to this peace, sharing it with others in word and action, and standing firm in our faith no matter what comes your way. Now go win today.